Yeah, and it's Priscilla Batzeld in Spring Hill, Florida at Express Your Stout Studio in the backyard. And I hope the sun doesn't come out too bright again because it's pretty hot out here. These are containers left over from packaging, obviously. This is what a clean one looks like. I have no idea. That looks like the pencil eraser tops came in it. Yep, erasers. Anyway, so those are what I put paint in. And this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. And yesterday I had, when I started a 16 by 16 inch canvas, I started with a lot of thick black paint. I did one with black and one with white. And I have shovels that I put right in front of me, yes. And so I have a choice if I want to fill a shovel or if I want to fill a container. If I fill a container, I'm going to have to use the leftover paint. If I fill a shovel, then I'm just going to use the shovel. So let's let's find something that's safe for that. That's look, That looks like... These are also useful for resting your shovel in. So you want to watch that. Okay. What I want are some really beautiful colors. <laughs> Go figure. Ah! And a clear tip would be awesome. And I just cleared all these tips. So pardon my frustration when I have to do it again. So I would say first in is last out. If you hear anything shuffling around in the backyard, uh, in the background of the noise, it's uh, the weed whackers next door and the dog is lizard hunting. <laughs> right now. Right now is his chosen moment for lizard hunting. So, hopefully he stays out from under my feet. I can see you there. Go away. Go, go, go. Thank you. <laughs> Don't need any lizard hunters in my video. Thank you. This is a white pearl. I call it white pearl, but it's an Anita's. I'm thinking that I, want, I might really want to um, just drag a skewer through this to change it up a little bit. I saw that thing. It does not belong in there. Can I get it out, though? No, I cannot. I'll see it later, I can tell you that right now. Looks like I'm laying down a little rainbow, so uh, go figure. And it looks like my shovel wants to tip forward and I'm not going to get that much more paint in there. What else do I want in there? I want some more yellow. Maybe I'll just squeeze a whole bunch of gold. My mica gold is beautiful. I haven't used any of my blue. These are, most of these are metallics. Some are Anita's metallics, some are uh, color sh um, folk art color shifts, and some, like this one, is an art mines. And I think I put um, golden iridescent shimmer in there. Okay, so that's a Prussian blue. And I don't know that I want that to be first out. I see that thing that does not belong in there. These are well shaken. I just, yeah, that was only a bubble. Good! Good, good when they're only bubbles. And I use that turquoise back there. I'm not going to have room for my blue if I don't do something about it. I'm going to put that in there because it needs to be near white. And there's my gold handy. And I'm going to have to hope that I can find a nice level spot. Put that aside for a few minutes. Yeah, it looks like I got some more room over there. Maybe I'll put some black or some gold in there. Just added some gold right up the center. Okay, so I should have brought the bottle of black I had out. And uh, instead of doing that right now, I think I'm just going to add some black to the canvas. I want a nice thick coat. I don't want as much as I wanted yesterday when I did this because I made it go all the way to the edges. And I suspect if I go almost to the edges or right up to them but not over them, that I will have a much easier time. Let me introduce you, those of you who have not met my OXO omelet turning spatula. I have a large and a small. I like to buy the large if I only had one and they're 10 bucks a piece-ish. So I like to do that because the blade is more flexible and it is a miraculous paint spreading spatula. But I am sort of looking to see if I can see any anomalous lumps in there before I begin to use it. And I see one, two, well, whatever that was, go away thing. So I'm just going to rotate and hope that my extra bugs and bubbles aren't really a problem. Okay, so I really want a nice thick layer. I'm going to use my turntable, maybe right out to the edge. So I'm thinking, what I did yesterday was take a shovel full of paint and start at one corner and, yep, nice thick layer, 
don't want it thin to the edge. I want it to lead paint. So I, I did. I laid down a nice wide ribbon with my shovel, not my dustpan. I did that later because <laughs> I was having fun. And uh, I continued to mess with the canvas after that point. But after, before that, I tipped the canvas. Yeah, my articulate tongue is not as articulate as I'd like. So this is going right into the bucket. Clean, keep your spatulas clean and you'll be happier. Um, okay, so this is what I've got for colors after I put that gold in there. And I really like this blue. And it looks like I can just about squeeze one more color in there. Yeah, I say that and then I squeeze another. I didn't put any purple in there. Darn. Can I get any more in there? A little more. Just a little more. Alright, so here goes nothing. That's a lot of paint. That's probably more paint than I need, to be honest with you. So I'm going to... Let that go all the way. Take a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. My number one, literally. My go-to, also. And see if I can make this work the way I expect it to. So here goes nothing. First I'm going to tip. Actually, I'm going to grab an edge catcher. Edge catchers are just the inserts for 16 by 20 inch canvas value pack from Michael's Cut Up. And I want to see if my theory is correct. First I'm going to go this way and pull that paint. Try not to run it down my arm. Throw it back again. Rock the edge of that paint right over. Let's use the colored part for the colored part and straighten that edge catcher out. Whoops. <laughs> and try not to slip too far. I see all kinds of lumps or bubbles in there and that turquoise. I'm going to rock that back. I suppose if I have to, I'll fill. What are you thing? Goodbye. And whatever you are, I want you to be gone. All right, so back to the other side. Maybe a clean edge catcher or a less, uh, less damp one. Yeah, we'll just grab another one. I kind of want to just make this go everywhere. This is a, it's still an experiment. This is before I do a much larger canvas, which is my intention. But I really want to be sure about what I'm doing so I don't waste a lot of paint and I have some kind of control over where my mark is going. And maybe I want my black paint to go closer to the edge next time. I'm just going to switch that right around. To heck with it. I'm going over here. I got a lot more shovel paint than I wanted, I think. And the only way I can think of to add black fill is to add black fill. So I'm going to probably do that in a second and see what happens. This is not exactly what I had in mind, but that's okay. And my black paint bottle has obviously clogged itself up and I didn't I think I need one with a point on it to get something out of there. All right, so I'm just going to do this. Because I don't think I need a lot more. Come on. <laughs> really? It's a whole new paint mix. There shouldn't be anything in there. So I am going to just take a spatula. My number one again. Well, the black paint is nice and thick. some of that go right over there. I really wasn't intending on having all of that go anywhere else, but it is, so that's okay. I'm just going to let that fall right over the edge right now, because I have such a copious amount of black paint. I seldom work with copious amounts of paint. I try and conserve. This is, I just wanted a single mark across the canvas and to be able to tip it and spread it out and see what happens because it was, it just looks so clean and chic. I mean, clean is maybe the wrong word. <laughs> um, 
It looked like a big lightning bolt, a big colorful lightning bolt. I don't want any color in there. So I'm just going to pull that over again. None of my gold is showing. Being that the black is thick, it's going to dry in a nice level even coat. Knock on some wood somebody please. I haven't used any silicone in my mix and I haven't used a torch to promote any of the selling that comes about when you use what I use which is a combination of decor, pouring medium and Floetrol. And I still kind of like that. I'm throwing my number one in the bucket and I'm going to look at this because I can. Oh, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link. Um, I have a wet rag handy so that if I have a tool that I want to wipe off, I can. And I think we have plenty of time for that right now. To pull a few things out. I haven't pulled any tendrils out of much of my work for a while. And um, I kind of like to torch this to see how many more cells we pop. It's just a really simple, simple concept. It didn't take an awful long time, although I did manage to spend, you know, eight or nine minutes doing it. And uh, I see a few cells popping, but not as many as I'm thinking that I could have gotten earlier. But I, I still want to tip this a little bit more. And I'll take a chance. I'm going to have to clean my tile afterwards. Let some of that run right off. I can always scrape up whatever I've got off of my edge catcher. I see I have a little bit of um, canvas resisting up there, but not for long. My temptation is to add some black in there, some gold. If the paint is too thick, if the black or the white background is too thick, the gold just sinks away to nothing. So that's kind of pointless, in my opinion. I am going to use my finger to let these colors merge with what's there. I'm going to wipe off the rest of that down that way from underneath. Then I'm going to have a look and see if there's anything I want to salvage off of. Oh, really? Okay, well I only have a skinny little spatula. I have uh, some good colors. That I might like to try and use. Because I can. Because I'm here. Because I need to know how that works. And it's okay. They're nice colors. I hate to throw them away. That's the deal. The black background should mean that if I want to lead some lines through there, I can. Also, I'm very curious to find out if I can steal paint on my skewer. And obviously I can. I don't know how much further I want to go. I kind of liked what I had, and I hope that that will heal. <laughs> I think it will. Um, I don't want to steal anything else off of my edge catcher. I really still want some gold. What else do I want to do here? I can do anything. I, I could just leave it right like it is, but um, that does not sound like me. I want some blue up here. I have some color shift blue. It's my prerogative to change a piece if I want to. So, if I want to change the pattern, that's what I'm going to do. And anytime you agitate paint, the chances are very good with the pouring mediums that we have in them that it will enhance or create, make cells, patterns. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Yesterday it sunk right away to nothing, but it did make some pretty cells before it sank away so I guess I'm just hoping that my paint was wasn't so much thicker that um,
All right, I'm just going to keep wiping my spatula off. That shape is um, not pleasing me as much as I had hoped. It makes me want to experiment for further. And I like this... Um, wow, you know what? I like the neon purple from Folk Art, but I know that I won't be able to keep it. Unless there's some white. It's not like me to change up my design <laughs> much. Let's do a little bit more of that over here since there's already some here. Because I got a minute. Oh, I got 44 seconds left. That just makes me want to add more. Well, after I get 44 seconds, then I get another minute or two. And I like that right there. That makes me happy. Don't ask me why. I've never been called easy to please. <laughs> Although, I have my moments. So, I said I wanted to add some purple, but I do believe it won't really show. So, I'm a little dubious about that. And now I have two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, and that is that I have a book out on Amazon called Because I Can, and I mentioned it a couple times, and it's on the Amazon, available on the Amazon link below the video, should you so desire to look for it. And uh, I like that, and I might do it again, since that's right up here. Yeah, it's kind of more important for me to paint than to tell you that I have Teespring below the video, but sometimes I remember. And uh, I also have Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom of the description, under the video, underneath the pouring paint pouring recipe description. If you guys ever have any questions, please just feel free to ask me. When I get a chance, I, I answer everyone. And uh, so when you leave comments, you're leaving, from, leaving them for me specifically, so know that. And uh, I really appreciate you guys making all the great comments you do. You're so sweet to me. I really, really love you guys <laughs> a lot. And there's about to be 60,000 of you, which is pretty cool. Really got to like that. Um, if you will do me the big, the favor and the honor of watching as much of the video as possible, if you want to be of assistance to me and you can't do it any other way, that is the best way to do it because that tells the YouTube algorithm that it wants to place my videos where more people can find them and more people want to find them obviously because we got 60,000 subscribers and I really like this now. I don't like flat edges um, but I'm pretty happy with this and that timer will go off and I need to tell you guys on my Facebook pages I have Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors, where you can find the YouTube albums, Volumes 1 through 4 soon, of YouTube Wet and Dry Artworks. Um, I do sell my artwork, so, and it has been selling more, more frequently recently, so if you're interested in something, uh, the, the number is at the end of the title, the reference number. Um, also, if there's a multi-part series, I want to let you guys know to always look for the link right at the top above the description because I try and include links to um, to the multi-part series there. What else? I give lessons at the class. At, <laughs> I like give lessons at the house in Spring Hill and uh, that was kind of fun and I, I will probably do that again in a larger on a larger venue. I don't know what I forgot. I have a playlist on the end screen with over 500 videos close to 600 so keep an eye out at the end if you want to watch more of my work. You can see it on the end screens. Also, my website is there. Not that it's... Uh, there's a good Instagram feed there. Um, I will eventually someday pay attention to my website. I have, uh, like I said, Pixels and Fine Art America. Um, and you can shop there. I've got products there since 2013. And some are pretty awesome. Even if you don't shop there, it's a cool place to go and visit. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I hope you come again. I'll see you when you do. Bye for now. Priscilla out.